Alrighty guys, um, I just finished my outro just five seconds ago and I just started recording again. Sorry if it's windy, but um, today is a buyer beware video. Um, I didn't I was, I was talking to my uh, buddy um, JD, you all know JD Jewelry, right? Um, I've been texting him, I texted him uh, one night a couple of like a week or two ago. And I was texting him for like an hour, um, asking him what to do about this uh, situation I'm in and Okay, here's the reveal. I got different headlights. I got rid of the halos. That's the big reveal. This is not a rebuild or not rebuild. What am I doing? Am I pulling a Derek? No, refresh Reaper. Um, I just threw them in. I didn't care about making a video. They're not that big. So here's the reveal, guys. I got the, I got rid of the uh, halos. But either way, this is not what the video is about. I had to show off the front end, so I kind of had to show the headlights and the picture. But um. My SWLA's halos, my switchbacks, burn out in the first month. It started off with this one, the um, passenger side. As you can tell, it's all hazy from moisture. First, it completely went out. The turn signal still worked, but the running lights, the regular running lights part, quit working. So, okay, I figured it may have been a wire. So, I was, had them on. I was fiddling with the wire, but I noticed like the little box that says switchback one. I don't know what the box is called. I'll put a picture of it right here. But, um,. Yeah, it was getting really warm while the um, headlights were turned on. So I checked the other side to see if the other side was getting that warm. So I said, maybe this is normal. Maybe they get a little bit warm. This was after fiddling with it for 20 minutes. It was warm. The driver's side was still working at the time perfectly. And it was cool. It didn't feel no heat off it. So I'm like, okay, that's not good. It's something to do with the wiring. The box is probably messed up. So then it fully goes out, doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. So it was still getting hot. So, I'm like, okay, I'll send them an email. So, I told them the problem, and they said they'll... I, they asked some dumb questions at first. I'm like, okay, they're going to ask questions. So, they said, send both fog lights back, and they'll possibly replace them. Possibly? Are you kidding me? Possibly? They're warrantied. If one burns out and is installed correctly, you just don't say, well, possibly replace. So, once I send them back, and they say, oh, there's nothing we can do, the voice warranty, blah, blah, blah. No! No, 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 no. I'm not pulling it. I'm not sending my $250 fog lights back. That way, a month to get after ordering them. Just when I probably won't even get them back, and I'll be screwed out of my money. So, like okay, I said, I'm not doing that. I'm not sending them back. I'll send them back after I get new ones. I just want, I wanted one new one at the time, right? I just wanted the passenger side. I didn't want two of them. I wanted one. I wanted one replacement for the one that burned out. So, a week later, the other one starts flashing. The amber part, the turn signal part starts flashing when the turn signal wasn't even on. It wasn't flashing normal, it was like it was like fluttering. So I'm like, okay, I posted it on my Instagram story. Um you see probably seen it in the last video in my outro. I don't know, I forgot when I posted that, but I'll put it right here when it's flashing. And this is on my Instagram. I'm gonna continue talking as it's playing. But it was my turn signal was not turned on at all. Then it fully burned out, then the box got even hotter than the passenger side box. The driver's side wiring and box was getting so hot the wires were starting to get gummy. This is a fire hazard, guys. Um, my car could have caught fire if I was driving like an hour long trip. I didn't know it was short now and I thought it was, you know, I could have I could have thought it was normal. I could have thought it was like, act, it was still turned on, like, not, like it was, you know, it was working right. Once I was going on an hour long ride, the wires got so hot it caught fire. And when I'm going down the interstate, the air is just feeding the flame and my car could have caught on fire. I don't have a fire extinguisher in my car. I should. I used to. I took it out and I forgot to put it back in. I'm pu actually just put it back in. So, but still, my car could have caught fire over $250 fog lights. Like, and they're not even replaced. I told them about the other one. I told them. They kept saying, well, did moisture get in it? Tear the box apart. Tear the box apart. I think that's what he said. I think that's what he meant. I don't know. I was very confused. But I'm pretty sure he meant like, take the box apart. I'll even put screenshots to the emails and the messages on Instagram. They ignored my Instagram messages for the longest time until I called them out on their on their um, Instagram post. Oh, guys, I'm frustrated. They are not wanting to replace my fog lights. Well, now, they after I called them out again, 
they said, okay, cut the two wires around the box and we'll warranty it. I'm like, cut the two wires. I even put the screenshot up too. Cut the two wires. All right, I, I have a feeling what's going on here is that I'm gonna cut the wires, send the fog lights back and say, well, you cut them, that's why they're not working. They're gonna try to screw me, I think. I mean, like, I'm getting frustrated. They're, why can't you just send me new ones? And I told them in the email, I said, send me new ones and I will send these back. I'm like, I have told, I even told them, I put the, I put their product on YouTube. I talked it up. I told them I was excited and I loved the product. I would recommend them 10 out of 10. I don't reckon, I don't recommend these people. Even JD did some research, and he said these uh, SW lights has some fissure reviews, and like that they're where their um, headlights will burn out, the fog lights will burn out. He, and he said their customer service is trash, and I see their customer service right now. I mean, like they're saying that they're going to replace them, guaranteed if I cut the wires. But how can I trust that? They're probably going to try to screw me. I don't really, really don't like that, and. <laughs> I'm frustrated guys. I've been wanting these fog lights for a year. I've known SW lights, I've known them for a whole year. And I got the bumper just so I can get the fog lights. That's not the only reason I wanted the bumper, but that's what made me pull the trigger. Because I was going to go with just the sock bumper, but then I saw the fog lights and that made me want to get the bumper even more. So, plus I paid 250 bucks. I waited a whole month to get them made and shipped out. I've, I will say, Guys, I am so upset. I'm not even kidding. And I even asked people on uh, New Edge Mustang Facebook groups, and they both said that they had terrible service and um, terrible luck with the products. I'm like, well, I see why. I mean, this is just ridiculous, guys. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, guys. I, JD even told me I should make this video, and I believe he's right. I gotta put these, I gotta pull them on bus. I gotta let you guys know about this company before you waste your money on them. Cause their headlights, their headlights go up to like 800 bucks. And one guy bought their headlights for 800 bucks and it, and they like burn out, they got condensation, they got ruined within like the first month or two or first couple of months, I don't know. I'm like, that's kind of, you'd expect them to last for years, you know, for that kind of price, but a couple of months, 800 bucks and a couple, $800 tail, I mean, headlights that burn out in a couple of months, even a year. That's awful. And they don't want to replace them. And on their website, it says they have a limited one year warranty. So why can't you just warranty my fog lights and just replace them? Without arguing and asking dumb questions. I sent you proof. I told you what's going on. Stop asking questions and just replace them. They, I mean, you're, you you want to have a good name for a company. I get mistakes happen. I get stuff ha happens like this. I'm not even mad about them going out. I'm mad that they're not even doing anything about it. I'm seriously upset that they're not doing anything. Yes, yeah, stuff happens. They're custom made. Stuff happens. I mean, you know, no, no one's perfect. I get they burn out. But... Just replace them. Don't argue. Don't ignore my messages. I called them several times. They ignored my phone calls. Even my grandmother tried calling them. And there's, they just ignore our phone calls. And they have... I don't know, guys. I, had, I Even JD told me I had to make this video. He said it was the best thing to do if they're not going to fix the situation. So, this is what I'm doing. And this is, this is unacceptable. If you guys... I hope one of them... I hope one of the guys from SW Lights, I'm going to tag him on Instagram about this too and uh, when I upload the video. You can, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Reaper underscore GT, you know I post when I upload and I'm going to, I'm going to tag him in this. I'm going to tag him in my story, I'm going to let them know that this video is out there and I hope you guys watch this. Guys, if you are watching this, please, please, just fix my problem. I looked up to you guys for a whole year before I bought this bumper and your fog lights. I've seen posts, I'm like, these headlights look really cool and these fog lights look really cool. I'm gonna get these when I get the money. I got the money, I got them, and it just blew up right in my face. Guys, please, I get stuff happens. I'm not mad that they burnt out. I just want you guys to fix the issue. That's all I want, guys. Like, Jesus, just fix it. I'm not trying to, like, harsh on you guys, but, like, if you guys aren't gonna fix this, I'm gonna tell people not to buy stuff from you. Because that's the way it should be. I mean, I wouldn't want to, if I heard stuff like that, I would not buy from you guys. If I would have heard that, that they wouldn't replace it, I wouldn't have bought the stuff. 
I, mean, I looked at the Instagram post and asked a few people about them and people liked them. I'm sure some of your products have actually worked out and lasted. And I'm sure some of them has failed. A lot of them has failed, apparently. That's what I've been hearing. So, I don't know. I am just frustrated. Sorry, this is a boring rant video. This is me being actually frustrated. I'm getting all hyped up. I'm just... Oh, my God. I don't know. I've been doing, I've been going through this for three weeks. No, two weeks. I've been going through this for like two to three weeks of constantly waiting for emails, blowing up their messages, stressing about it. They have, these have been blown out. I actually had to disconnect them because if I didn't disconnect them, my car was going to catch on fire, guaranteed. It was going to catch on fire. It, it was going to catch on fire. I know wiring. I know when, I know electrical fires. I work. Come on guys, I work in a fire protection company. I know, I hear stories about wiring, wire fires, like where, you know, where it shorts out, it catches on fire. And that's what was going on. They were getting hot, the wires were actually gummy. My car was gonna catch on fire. So, that, these, these things are actually dangerous <laughs> in my eyes. The malfunction of them was very, very dangerous. They could have caught on fire. Luckily, I caught in time and felt the wiring I'm luckily I made sure to check both sides to feel that how warm one of them was getting and this one got really warm this one was actually actually shorting out like I said it was flashing this one just went out so if you guys from SW lights are watching this and you see this part of the video please help me out I will delete the video if you guys replace them I will put up a positive uh, I will put up an update video saying that you guys fixed the issue I spent a lot of money on these and I was had high expectations. Your name is even on the back of my car. I would hate to have to take this sticker off because you guys screwed up. Your name is on the back of my car. I told everybody about the product after I got it. I was so excited and then they just went out and you guys are not helping me at all. Like But um that's gonna be the end of this video. Sorry if it was a boring rant. SW lights, if you're watching this, help me out. Come on. And I try to throw you guys to the ground and say a big fuck you don't buy from these fuckers but i'm going if you guys don't replace it i'm going to have to put i'm going to have to keep this video up and i'm going to have to say my word not to buy from you guys because this is wrong <laughs> you are you chart those are expensive i mean like they're not even worth 250 bucks in my eyes but i still bought them i figured they were worth that much because they were custom made but i paid that much money for them to go out so yeah, sorry for this rant. So, like, comment, subscribe, and like I said, if you guys see this, DM me anything, email me. Um, you guys should know my email by now. But um, yep. Hopefully, guys, I get this situated. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. So, let's hope this situation gets fixed. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Reaper underscore GT, for any updates on what is going on. And, yep. So, if SWLA doesn't fix this, I'm going back to the original fog lights. Or I'm going to have to order new ones. Because I've, you know, my other ones are broken up. Um, my stock ones. Yeah, they were broken. That's why I got these, too. So, I can't throw them back in. Because now I just got to buy whole new ones if they don't fix it. So, yep. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And see you guys later. You know that you don't need to wonder You ain't got